let's get back into it. Let's just jump into some serious shit. Woo! All right, let's start off. Let's start off calm like how we normally do. I kind of set up the scene. What's been going on? I, okay, so I introduced this journal that I've been carrying around about two episodes ago. I got it before I went to Europe. <laughs> and I've just been carrying it around ever since, just writing stuff down. And honestly, it's amazing because I would just try and remember and put stuff on like post-it notes or just write it in my, in the notes in my phone. And then I realized that's just dog shit. And especially like writing with pen and paper, especially with this pen this is my favorite fucking pen made in Paris. Someone left this on a bar top and I was like, you fucking idiot. I took it, stole it, buy the replacement on the inside. Now it, it's fucking inks all well. It's all smooth and shit. It's the best pen I've ever had. It's amazing. It's got a little arrow on it. I don't know if you can tell. And I got an arrow tattoo. Come on. It's my pen now. Anyway. Okay. So let's also set up the scene. I, I made myself this coffee. Okay. So I had these extra like plastic cups left over from this uh, short film I wrote and directed a while back ago. And then I realized, oh, I have all these fucking cups just stored away back here. that I, had, I honestly totally forgot that I even had. So now I'm going to try and use them because I make a plenty of drinks. And I'm, you know, I'm just going to try and be as wasteful as I can and just burn through these plastic cups. You know, that's probably what I'm going to try and do. Let's just be honest. So I made this coffee warm. So gross. It's a warm coffee with milk in it. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. I want cold, straight black coffee, not hot coffee with milk in it. Anyway, so let's just jump into like the bulk of today's video. It was, I've also, okay, so I've been, like I said, I've been keeping notes in this journal, right? And I've made so many lists and just topics I need to talk about on here, but the largest list so far, it takes up a whole page of just things that I need to run through for this one. It's called people that annoy me. That's the title of the page. And in, oddly enough, this is the longest page. Okay, this is the longest amount of notes I've had. And so let's just run through them. Okay, so I know, okay, I know I made a Jake's thoughts one. This may be under Jake's thoughts two or something, but it's people that annoy me because I don't know. I, here's a couple that I just want to run off. Maybe I don't know if I want to go in chronological order. I'm going to spend some time. No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to run through them. Okay, first one <laughs> salt life. Okay, if you have a salt life sticker, on the back of your car and you don't live on the ocean, you piss me off. You piss me off. I don't like that. Take it off. Why do you need that? Do you really? Are you about the fucking salt life? Because you live in fucking Kansas. Why do you have that on your car? That shit pisses me off. That's okay. I feel I'm going to get enraged by the end of this episode. I can literally just from that one, I can feel, I can, Okay, and we're only at one right now. Here we go. Oh, okay. If if you go, hey man, you want to play some music while we're in the car? And I'm like, yeah, no problem. Do you got where's the aux or Bluetooth? And I hook up, and then I play a song, and then during that song you start talking, or even worse, you you go like this. Oh, this is a good song. And we're driving for a second, and then you go like this. Hold on, I wanted to tell you about this, and you reach and they turn it down, and you're like. What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't tell me to play music. Then when I turn on the good music that I want you to hear, because I love this music and I think you would like it, then you turn it down to talk about some bullshit that we don't need to be talking about. That pisses me off. Here we go. God. Here's another one. When you're really cold to, and you have to get, okay, how do I say this? Because it's not when you're cold. It's, here, okay, here's another one. You ready? Here it is. When you're about to get in a cold pool and you're like stepping in all slow, like barely getting in, and then there's already someone in the cold pool that's like, hey, come on, man, it's not even that bad. And you're like, no, but it is. And I'm going to take my time with this. And then they're like, come on, come on. And they start splashing you with water. And you're like, oh, dude. No, no, no. All right. Hey, hey, no splashing. I don't want to be splashed right now. I'm trying to take. Mental time to get in this cold fucking ice bath that for some reason you think is okay. 
And they're like, all right, all right. And then they start splashing you, dude. People that splash you in the pool and you're like, I don't want to be splashed right now. Those people piss me off so bad. I'm getting enraged and I'm only on number three. If you cut your steak like this, how do I... If, if you cut your steak like this, if this is the fork and you hold it like this or like this and this is the knife and you go like this, that pisses me off. Cut your steak correctly. Why are you holding it down and fucking... What are you doing? What are you doing? Did nobody teach you? If not, just go like this. Boink, open your eyes and look around. Is anybody else doing that? No. God, that pissed me off. Here we go. Oh, oh, these are the fuckers that were... Okay, these fuckers... You're just evil. You're just evil if you do this shit. If you drive... If we're on some back roads or some shit, and you pass a cop, and then you keep driving, you go around a curve, and then you see me driving, and you don't do your high beams a couple times, or give me any warning that there's a cop up ahead. Oh, you deserve the worst kind of karma. Fuck you. Anytime I see a cop, and I, I know I can give him the high beams, anybody and everybody, high beams, there's, there's a cop up ahead. 12's ahead, 12's ahead. Watch out, everybody. Have you seen that video? I'm sure you have. Where the fucking, there's a guy on like a parachute or some shit. And he's like gliding over a mountain. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, the police are coming up the hill or something. He's like, watch out, watch out. The police are coming. <laughs> I love that guy. I mean, he deserves it all. You know, why wouldn't you do that? You, I'm just a fellow pedestrian and you weren't going to let me know. And you can, I'm sure you could kind of tell that I'm already speeding a little bit. And you wouldn't let me know? You're evil, dude. That's evil shit. Here we go. Oh, my dad. <laughs> I was telling my dad that I was making this list. And he was like, you know what kind of person really pisses me off? And he would always, he always would say this shit growing up. He would always say this. He would, he would get so mad when so... <laughs> I have two brothers. And sometimes if you got hungry, you would just get a fucking spoonful of peanut butter and just eat that shit. Pure calories and fats and everything, right? You're a growing boy. Just eat some fucking peanut butter. Honk. And my dad was like, if you don't clean this fucking spoon before you put it in the sink, do you know how gross that shit is? When the peanut butter is sitting in the fucking sink and it's all the peanut butter is all gross and I got to go in there and clean that shit. And then the peanut butter sticks to things. Clean your fucking peanut butter spoon off. Like, that was my dad's thing. Clean the... F did, you eat, did you just eat peanut butter? Yeah. Yeah, why? Did you clean the fucking spoon? Did you clean this fucking spoon off? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you? No, I'll be back. And then you go clean the spoon real fast. They're like, sorry, dad. I forget something, you know. I didn't know that this was your main fucking concern. But, you know, that's what Pops needed. And he was paying bills. So... You, you do what you gotta do, you know, you listen. Oh, I've said this before. I think I said this when I was like, sent him to Greenland on the island of Misfit Toys. Or no, this was about my social battery. And it, as I was thinking about the people that pissed me off, for some reason, this one came back to me. If we're bowling and you roll more than three gutter balls, it's time to go. I'm ready to leave, Okay. It can be consecutive or it could be one every couple. But if you get more than three gutter balls and you didn't ask to put the ramps up, the little fucking kitty ramps, whoever I'm with, you're, I'm taking them and you're getting left behind here and you're staying here till they fucking close and you're practicing all night. You're practicing all night because you, oh, oh, you can't roll a ball down a straight floor. You can't do that. And you know what? They even made the balls nice and slick and round and perfectly rollable. They're not going to wobble at all. And you know what? You don't even have to be that strong. They'll even wax the floor for you. And you can't roll a ball in a straight line. Oh, dude. You're staying here till they close. 
and you're practicing and then you know what you need to do some fucking jumping jacks or just throw a tennis ball up and catch it work on some fucking hand eye coordination or something huh <laughs> no you piss me off that annoys the shit out of me oh i love that one that's such a good one man god i love it because people are like that's a, really that pisses you off it's a ball in a straight line and the pins are all you can do just hit one pin just hit one pin every time and you know what i'd be like they suck ass at bowling but you know what they didn't roll one fucking gutter ball at least they're on the board they we can work with that but if you're rolling gutter balls gotta go gotta go oh if you have only one genre of music and that could be the, okay this you guys don't really like anger me piss me off but it's just like i want to I wanted to shake you by the ears and be like, why, why are you choosing to miss out on so much other great shit? You know, it's like, Hey man, you want to play some music? Say, I'm getting pissed off. Cause this just came to me. This is why I thought of it. Okay. So I was on vacation with some friends and this, we were like, Hey man, you want to play some music? It wasn't me talking to this other guy. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And he plugs in his phone and we're on like a, what was it? Eight hour, five to eight hour car ride to the beach or something and he played only rap only rap and it wasn't just one artist of any of any artist pick it just straight rap for eight hours i'll give him the benefit of the doubt and i'll say the lesser end five hours that shit sucks choose some other genre if you oh could you imagine five hours of edm <laughs> No. Take me away, Jesus. Take me away. No, 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 no. No, no. You only play one genre. That's it. Or what about just I got friends and fucking country, dude. Oh shit, dude. This is torture. Oh fuck. I'm getting angry and like anxious. Dude. Uh <laughs> no. No, you're going to play EDM for five hours. You can't mix it up with, just give me, give me some EDM, then do classical. I mean, that's still just, I guess something similar in my opinion, compared it to fucking rap EDM or just switch it up. Just give me a little break, please, please. I'm begging you just ease up and just switch a different genre. It could be an hour of rap and then an hour of EDM, or it could be just boop, 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 boop. But one genre of music. How do you not get, how, because also, how do you not get like tired of it? After a while, after you've memorized all the lyrics to all the songs, how are you not like, what else you got? You know, cause I hear a song three times and I'm like, I mean, that was a really great song. I'm definitely going to listen to it later. But don't play it a fourth because I want to hear something else now. Like, huh? I don't know. That pisses me off. I just dropped my pen and I took a sip of this shitty ass coffee and that really pisses me off. God, that irritates me, but it's okay. I guess I got to use my fucking finger now or out. Don't worry. Bosses who think jobs matter. <sighs> okay. If say you're anywhere below the age of 21 if you're below the age of 21 then you're working at any kind of retail place here's a great fucking example all of you guys know i'm sure academy sports if you're 17 and you're working in academy sports and your manager think this thinks that this is your life career path oh buddy no 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 I'm just here. Okay. This is not, this is not where I'm going to be for more than, I don't know, until the day's over. Then I'm gone. Right. You do know, we're not here for a long time. So if you're like bossing, this is your fucking, like this job really matters. And the, we need you. Your team needs you. Bitch. I'm not coming in to work at ACE hardware at fucking 8am. No, 
I'm not doing that shit. I don't care about you or this job. So thank you, but no, we're good. That pisses me off. Oh, this is this is a. I feel like this isn't geared toward women, but I feel like it, a lot of men will say that this is women or something like that. But I, it could also be men. I'm guilty of this too. I'm just. I thought of this because women say it. When you're hungry, but you have no idea where to eat. And that's a classic one. Everybody knows this one. This isn't new material. That's just, that's another thing that just pisses me off. I don't feel like I need to go into that because that's like such a well-known thing. But if, and it, it kind of implies to almost, it's like, this is why, this is why it pisses us off when you're hungry, but you have no idea where you want to eat. Because it's almost like people asking for advice then you like, you know, you have some like good advice and you're like, I've been through this shit. I can help this person. So you like sit down on them and you tell them the advice and then they go out into the world and don't follow any of it. You're like, hmm, well, probably won't do that again. Right? So when someone goes, I'm hungry and you go, oh, where do you want to eat? And they go, I don't know. For some reason, the same anger that I feel there is the same anger I feel when I give someone advice and they don't follow it. It's a very, it's a different kind of anger. It's just like a, why, you know, like what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's kind of that feeling. That's how the best way I could describe it. People who want to take the stairs. Oh, bro. Okay. If we have the option of taking the elevator or escalator or stairs and you're a person that goes, come on, let's just take the stairs. Oh, go fuck yourself. No, we invented shit that's better than that. Okay. Why would we go back to that? We've invented a box that literally picks you up and puts you on the floor. You need to go like a little, you're just a little, a little, uh, almost. <laughs> Well, I'm not, I almost said like a little person, but that's, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like you're a light person and lightweight, not like smaller person. I just meant, you know, like a little person, like, uh, it doesn't really sound right, but you know what I fucking mean? I feel like a little bit, you know what I mean? But you have the elevator. Why would you take the stairs? Especially if we've had a couple drinks in, <laughs> come on, let's take stairs. Huh? <laughs> no. Why? Just click the button. It'll be here in 10 seconds. And then we can just boop. Oh, we're here. Why would we? <sighs> I think we just got two more flights. <sighs> All the way up the fucking stairs. No. No. <laughs> You're stupid. Not what happened. No, I don't know. Oh, when you're at a restaurant. Okay, this is for restaurant workers, I feel like. Yeah, I guess it only is if you're like a server or bartender or something like that. And then you say the person has come up to the bar is literally sitting at your table with menus in their hand. And I'm like the per I'll be the person in your you're the server, right? And you walk up and you're like you introduce yourself. Hi, my name's fucking Bethany. I'll be here with you tonight. Okay. And they're like, Hi, Bethany. Can we ask you something? Uh, what do you have here? Hmm. Those people should just have their eyes gouged out. Cause guess what? You're not using them. Why do you need them? Why do you have them then? Because you're the menus in your fucking hand and the title of the restaurant, or at least the ambiance, something, the decor could give you some kind of idea, or you've gone bonk again and opened your eyes and looked around and gone, Oh, okay. It's probably like a seafood place, right? But to just go, what do you have? You did no prior research before walking in the, our doors and just, why do you have eyes? Pluck, pluck them out. You don't need them anymore. Bye-bye to those people. Those people piss me the fuck off. Oh, when everyone, someone thinks that the color black is like every shade of every dark color. And what I mean by that is if you see like a really dark navy or like a really dark blue and you're like, what color is that? And they're like black. And you're like, okay, no, no, that's a dark navy. Or you're like, what is that color? And it's clearly, clearly a dark fucking forest, dark green. Right. And they're like, 
oh, that's a black. And you're like, you're fucking colorblind. No, what are you talking about? You cannot just generalize that all the dark shade colors are fucking black. No, it's dark navy. Like, it, that's its own color. What the fuck are you talking about? No, nah, dude, the thing's black. Okay. I'm getting enraged right now, man. I literally feel it in my chest. I'm getting, in, I'm getting so upset right now. Oh, fuck, dude. This one pisses me off. Okay. If you use all the hot water, and what I mean by that is if we are at a vacation home or somewhere, we're at a condo or someplace, we're in a hotel or something, and you're like, hey, are they, they're like, hey, are you going to shower? And you're like, no, nah, you go ahead. You go first. And they're like, okay, cool. And then they're in the shower and you're like, holy shit, it's been like 30 minutes. What the fuck is going on in there? 40 minutes or so, however long, and they get out of the shower and they're like, wow, that was really cool, man. You, you enjoy your time in there, dude. And you're like, wow, I mean, fucking, I'm, I'm excited to see what's in the shower. It took you so long. Like, is there some cool shit in here? You're right. You go in, boom, check it out. You're like, well, this is a normal fucking shower. Okay. Then you turn on the hot water and there's none left. I just waited. I just waited a really long fucking time. And now you want me to take a really, really cold shower? Because of your inconsiderate ass. You couldn't just take a normal shower like a normal fucking person. Oh my god, dude. If you use all the hot water and for a shower when there's other people waiting. Oh, you just... Oh, dude. Oh. You need to be soaked in an ice bath for over two hours. Just, I want you to come out like a fucking jack in the Titanic. Run, like, pull him out one second before he dies. Just teeth chattering. And then you pull him out. So, how did that feel? How did that feel? And you're like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't fucking move. And you're like, yeah. Yeah. You probably want some hot water right now, don't you? To like warm up. Um, well, you took it all earlier. Remember that? So... Let's, let's give him another hour. Fucking send him back in there. Dude, wow. All right. Oh, okay. This is going to have to be my last one. Well, it is, it is. It's one of my last ones on here. I'm going to save a couple of these. But this is going to be my last one because I'm getting really irritated. And my tw I've been ranting about how people annoy me for 23 minutes, dude. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. If you're on speakerphone in public or fa if you're FaceTiming someone in a grocery store... You don't get a phone anymore. It's like a toddler. Okay, take it away. You stop, stop, stop. You're a fucking toddler, dude. If you're walking around like, no, what kind, what kind of a cereal does Becky want? And I'm over there trying to get my fucking Fresca. And then I got to listen to Becky. Becky is like, or Kim's like, I think Becky wants a, a frosted cinnamon toast. And you're like, oh, she didn't even fucking say it right. It's cinnamon toast crunch or frosted flakes it was one of the two and what the fuck are they talking like oh, i'm overstimulated and i don't give a fuck about this person or their conversation yeah if you talk on speakerphone or in the facetime while in the public area especially a grocery store you get your phone taken away you go sit in the corner for 20 minutes think about think about what you did and that's what we should do with most of these people or just send them to greenland i'm gonna hack out that's gonna be one of my shirts just send them to greenland Get the fuck out. You got to go. Okay. God, these people annoy me. Yeah. All right. I got to stop. I guess I have to. Um, This has been Jake on people who annoy me. Pretty much. I love, a, I love a lot of people. This has been pretty fucking negative. I hope you got some laughs out of it because it's just been jabs, I feel like. But, um, you know, I care about a lot of these people. You know, I want him to see him get better. Maybe send him to rehab or just help him out. Or I think it's wise to let them know what they're doing wrong. Just if we could just fix them, you know, there's things I need fixed on. I'm sure there's people, things people don't like about me, but I just let me know and I'll try and work on this. Actually, I really don't give a shit. So yeah, those are the Jake on the people who annoy me. Like, uh, subscribe if you're actually going to like share comment if you're gonna go like oh this is kind of funny who who else do you think would like this my friend whoever and you send it to them then you can subscribe then you subscribe do not subscribe if you're not gonna do that stuff it's pretty simple this is a 
This is the big leagues. This is where we get serious. I don't want little misfits around here. I want soldiers. You know? It's like that Joey Diaz thing. All you, all you need is three motherfuckers. And you can take over a country. Whatever the fuck he says. Anyway. All right. It have, it's really nighttime right now. Um, so go get some fucking sleep, I guess. Love you all. Have a great day. Night. Bye-bye.